some afar based news sources are claiming that uh, a top tdf journal has been killed in afar the journal and some top tdf commanders have been killed on gobe wasama front what is the basis of this claim uh do afar news sources have some evidence to back these claims because earlier we heard claims about general migbe that he had been killed there in afar but we have not seen any confirmation so far who is this general which is being claimed that he has died in afar uh second viewers uh, since morning we have been hearing since this morning we have been hearing about the release of daud ibsa head of oromo liberation front he has been under house arrest for more than a year has he been released third viewers dr tedros is speaking out once again he says that tigray is becoming a forgotten crisis uh the most severe crisis uh, health crisis in the world right now is tigray he uh, mentioned several important points in his statement today about tigray and lastly has un cancelled all flights to makale it has not been officially confirmed but several analysts are claiming that uh, un has suspended all flight operations to makale what's the reason behind that is is it due to lack of uh, food aid in tigray to work with is it due to some imminent attack from ethiopian government forces on makale on tigray Firstly, viewers, uh, if you remember, a few days ago, I reported about some claims from a far-based news source that uh, a TDF general had been killed in a far in the ongoing Tigray a far fighting. General Megbe uh, was being named by a far news sources as uh, the general who had been killed in a far, but the claim could not be verified. Now, an other claim about a general. uh name of the journal is journal atisfe gide a far based news sources say the journal atisfe gide has been killed in a far where was he killed and on which on the basis of which evidence are these claims being made by a far based news sources General Tisfe Gide worked as the head of Ethiopian peacekeeping contingent in Abyei. Abyei is disputed territory between South Sudan and Sudan and there is a UN peacekeeping commission there. Uh, Tisfe Gide worked there as the head of this mission in 2017. I haven't heard much about uh, his presence in tigray i have heard about other generals like general sadkan general migbe general dinkel general johannes and several others uh, but i haven't heard much about uh, general atisfe gide that he is fighting uh, on the battlefield that he is leading tigray defense force but a far based news sources say the general uh, tisfe gide has been killed what's the evidence where was he killed they say that he was killed on gobe wasama front you can see gobe wasama on this map uh, in past few days uh, we have seen heavy fighting on this front and uh, afar news sources shared some pictures of captured tdf soldiers and some captured vehicles of tigray defense force from this front gobe wasama front and they have made some gains of our militias on this front on this front it has been claimed that general tisfe gide has been killed what's the evidence uh, afar news sources say that tdf fighters who have been taken prisoner they are revealing that uh, General Tisfe Gide has been killed in a far, and four other TDF commanders were also killed. 
including uh, Philmon uh, Bata, Asfahale Gabre Matin. These three names are being shared by Afar news sources. Obviously, no confirmation. Uh, Tigray has not confirmed the death of uh, a single military officer so far since the start of this war in November 2020. Let's see. We'll update you uh, once we have some confirmation. But we could not confirm the death of General Migbe so far. Secondly, viewers, uh, Daud Ibsa, head of Romo Liberation Front, has been under house arrest for more than a year. Entire leadership of OLF uh, is in prison. Jal Abdi Ragasa, Gamach Oboe and several others uh, are in prison. Uh, their spokesperson, uh, Bati Gasa was released two days ago but because he was critically ill. He is now hospitalized because he is severely ill. Uh, is Daud Ibsa free? Has he been released? Well, uh, some news sources today shared that Daud Ibsa was seen on his way to meet members of National Election Board of Ethiopia, NEB officials. He had a meeting with NEB officials. It means he was not under house arrest. He was allowed to go to the headquarter of NEBE. So that is what being claimed that his uh, house arrest has come to an end. Let's see. Uh, but if he was in meeting with NEB, it does not mean that his house arrest has come to an end. He might have been allowed to just attend the meeting and he might have been put back in uh, the house under house arrest. At the start of this month, uh, National Election Board of Ethiopia wrote a letter to Ethiopian intelligence agency NIS and uh, Federal Police Commissioner of uh, Ethiopia. National Election Board of Ethiopia said that in May last year, a complaint was lodged by OLF that its leader was under house arrest. NEB constituted an inquiry team which visited Daud Ipsa's residence and it has been confirmed that he is under house arrest. No charges have been filed against him, so that is why his house arrest is illegal. NEBE urged NISS, intelligence agency, and uh, uh, Federal Police Commission of Ethiopia to end the house arrest of Daud Ipsa. Now, he is being reported that uh, he has held a meeting with NEBE officials, National Election Board officials. Has he been released or was he released uh, for a meeting uh, with NEB? That remains to be seen, but some Romeo based news sources say that he has been released. If he is released, it could be an other blow to some hardliner Amhara groups who say that uh, OLF and OLA both are hand in glove. OLA, Roman Liberation Army, is backed by OLF, and OLF is political wing, OLA is military wing, and uh, uh, OLA is involved in genocide of Amharas. OLF is doing the same. It could lead to more backlash from some groups in Amhara region if the release of Daud Ipsa is confirmed. So far, uh, we can say that uh, some Romia based news sources are saying that he has been released. We will have to wait a little. Will he be allowed to uh, leave his house in coming days or not? That we will try to. Uh, find out and update you. Now, we uh, third news story is uh, from Tigray again. Dr. Tedros Adonum is once again speaking out about the situation in Tigray. He says, Tigray is becoming a forgotten crisis because of the ongoing Russia-Ukraine conflict. He says, it's the most catastrophic uh, health crisis in the world right now. Around 7 million people are under a blockade. 
83 percent are food secure three fourth of all uh, uh, health facilities in tigray have been destroyed and no aid has entered tigray since mid december region under complete blockade and under complete communication blackout world is forgetting tigray because of other conflicts out of sight out of mind that is what he said dr tedros uh, as who head and as tigrayan has done a lot for tigray he is accused by ethiopian government of backing tplf uh, he is the only international tigrayan voice uh who is speaking out in support of tigray yes uh, the world is focused on uh, ukraine russia conflict the pressure upon ethiopian government to resolve tigray conflict has decreased decreased considerably what would be the result of this decrease uh, in pressure upon ethiopian government will ethiopian government uh, regroup reorganize rearm will tigray rearm regroup are we going to move towards a new war are things moving towards some settlement no signs of any settlement so far dr tedros says that situation is worsening in tigray lastly viewers uh, not officially confirmed it is being claimed that un has suspended flights to makale all flight operations uh, by the un to makale have been suspended why uh, no official statement so far what is being said is that it is due to some imminent attack from ethiopian government forces on tigray and makale that is why all un flight operations on uh, Uh, into tigray have been suspended by un officials un agencies well this suspension could be due to the fact that un does not have any cash it does not have any fuel it does not have any food aid how will un officials work in tigray if they don't have anything to work with you need cash you need fuel you need communication equipment you need food aid to work with if you don't have any of these things it means you are paralyzed so the suspension of flights to makale to tigray could be due to these uh, due to the lack of the resources or it could be due to some imminent attack on tigray is the government planning an attack on tigray we have obviously no credible information if ethiopian government Uh, is planning to attack tigray obviously it won't disclose it uh it would be a top secret so so far it's just a speculation we're waiting for some official statement from un aid agencies why are they suspending all flights to makale thank you for watching